Hi friends, welcome to Technical Piping YouTube channel. This video explain about, type of testing conducted in piping projects, for pipes. Number 1, Hydrostatic Test. Hydrostatic testing is the most common method employed for, testing pipes, and pressure vessels. A hydrostatic test is, performed by using water as the test medium. And, it's recommended for high pressure applications. This diagram explain, simplified hydro testing plan. It's denote pressure gauge, safety valve location, filling points, drain point and vent points, etc. Number 2, Pneumatic Test. Pneumatic tests are, potentially more dangerous than hydrostatic, because of the, higher level of potential energy. Pneumatic tests may be performed, only when at least, one of the following conditions exists. Number 1, when pressure systems are so designed, that they cannot be filled with water. And, number 2, when pressure systems are to be used in services, where traces of the testing medium cannot be tolerated, testing medium for pneumatic test, uses air, nitrogen, or any non-flammable and non-toxic gas. And, it's recommended, only for low pressure applications. This diagram explain, simplified pneumatic testing plan. It's denote pressure gauge, safety valve location, manifold setup details, etc. Number 3. Visual test. Lines and systems which are open to the atmosphere, such as drains, vents and open safety valve discharges, do not require pressure testing. These lines shall be visually examined, to determine, that all joints are properly made up. This type of lines are cleared by a visual package, final inspection document. It's based on project owner requirements. Number 4, Service Leak Test. Initial service leak test is used, when other types of tests are not practical, for example piping where shut-off valves are not available for isolating a line, and where temporary closures are impractical, or when leak tightness is demonstrable due to the nature of the service. This test is conducted when the piping system is first put into operation. When running an initial service test, the piping system shall be gradually brought up to the normal operating pressure. And it is then maintained at that pressure while an examination for leaks is performed. This test is applicable, only to piping in category D fluid service. For more reference as MB313 para 345.7. Number 5, Gravity Flow Test. The purpose of the gravity flow test is to attempt, to find out whether a sewer system leaks under the conditions of actual use, and if so, to quantify the rate of loss. This test also called, Water Fill and Flow Test. 